Ken Bruce from Dirt Track Digest. We're here with Max McLaughlin. Third place finish on a track you've never seen before. I know leading most of the race, that's a little disappointing. You didn't get the win, but still not a bad run for you know for your team. Yeah, I mean we've uh, we've struggled uh, a little bit this year, and you know we, I've found a lot of stuff that's helped me with the Sweeteners Plus car, and um, you know this is uh, the newer chassis that they have, and I think we've found something with it, and. Um, you know, I've uh, kind of applied what I learned in the big block stuff and, and here, and we've worked together a lot. And, um, you know, Jay's a, a great mechanic on these cars, and, um, you know, Norm's an awesome car owner to drive for, and it, it just it sucks. We, I think we finished third, like, six dirt races in a row, literally. I, I, I'm, it's, it's frustrating, but we, uh, I, I think it's safe to say we had the, we had the best car here, um, but we did have a 360 engine, and the, the, the top two had big motors, which... Uh, you know, I could get to lap traffic, and I had a great handling car, but once I got to them, I couldn't do anything with them. You know, they, uh, I would get under them and just bog so bad off the corner, and then that was it. But um, you know, I think they more aggressive with tires, too, which, which helped them in, in their case once we got to a dirty track. But um, it's frustrating, but these, these guys work hard. They deserve wins, and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll win some, more, or some races before the year's over. Yeah, I, there's no doubt about it. You're going to grab some wins. The more you get familiar with... You know, driving Norm's car, and uh, you know you're pretty familiar driving Vic's car now. But uh, you had the race. To me, it looked like without the lap traffic, you definitely had the fastest car. And uh, what were your thoughts when you came upon the lap traffic? I mean, it, it, it's, damn it, I don't know. It sucks. <laughs> you know, uh, I was praying for another caution because I, I knew that uh, you know the the gap. I mean, we were a lot better than the rest of the field. It was a clean track, but I had to move around a lot to find that line and, and get it right. And um, you know, once we uh, got to lap traffic, even the time before where I kept the lead, I was like, "Man, this ain't good." I know they're going to be right on my bumper, and um, you know, we're close. We just, uh, you know, just gotta have the right things fall our way and, and win one of these races. Everybody knows these guys are the best in the country. You, you got to have a perfect night. So, uh, props to Ant. Anthony's awesome. Mahaney's. Uh, knocking on the door, he's right there every week with us. So uh, it's it's really cool to, to be able to race with these guys, race clean, and uh, go contend for wins. You know, you picked up on a track that you've never seen before pretty quick here. You know, what were your? Uh, you just told me you watched some YouTube videos before the races, but of course the tracks changed since then. But uh, like I said, you seem to pick on pick up on it pretty well. Yeah, I mean it's a cool track. Um, you know, it's an ideal once you hit lap traffic. It place gets pretty dirty and uh, it gets a little hard to pass, but. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's cool. I, I like going to different places, and it's a new challenge. And uh, you know, A good race car driver should be able to make a, a good race car go fast no matter where it is. So, um, you know, I'm having a lot of fun traveling all over the country, racing a lot of different race cars for a, a lot of different car owners. And, um, you know, I think we're uh, going to win a lot more races before the year's over. Well, we're going to close this interview. This is like Sammy Mark's going to run us over here. But uh, congratulations on the third-place finish, and uh, look forward to uh, seeing you again, pal. Appreciate it. Thanks. All right, it's Ken Bruce with uh, Max McLaughlin.